Number 34. Show that a diffraction grating cannot produce a second order maximum for a given wavelength of light unless the first order max is at an angle less than 30 degrees. So let's create, uh, so we're talking about maximum, so we're going to be using this formula over here on the right hand side that we have for the past 33 problems. And now this is going to be, I think, I think hopefully by now this, I'm not even going to say the variables anymore because, uh, <laughs> so just put all ones down here, okay, uh, to represent the first order max case. And now take a, the, write, rewrite the equation with all twos. And this will then represent the uh, second case, all right? Now, there's something that is going to be, a couple of things actually, that are going to be staying constant between these two uh, equations. The distance between the slits, does it sound like they're changing in the problem? No, right? No. So they are basically the same, okay? So get rid of the subscripts, let's make them just D now, okay? And does it sound like the angle might be changing? Yeah, yeah, right? You know, we gotta show that it can't produce second order. Okay, so maybe the angles will be different. Does it sound like the orders are different? Well, sure, one is M1, one is M2. What about the wavelengths? Well, the wavelengths here will be constant, all right? So get rid of those as well. Now there's several ways to solve this problem. I've solved it then for D before and then plugged it in and done all that mumbo jumbo. What you can now do is you can just divide one equation by the other. It doesn't matter which way you necessarily do it. Uh, since I want to those solve for like the second order max, right, this angle, uh, basically, that's what I'm going to be looking to do. Uh, I'm going to put this one on the top. In other words, I'm going to take this equation and divide it, just basically create like a little ratio here. And notice now what will cancel. The D's cancel, the wavelengths cancel. All right, and then we have now sine theta 2 over sine theta 1 will then be equal to M2 over M1. Now, let's rearrange this, okay? Let's do sine of theta two is going to be equal to now sine of theta one. We're cross multiplying, uh, multiply by M two over M one. Now let's start plugging in some numbers. Let's move this on over here. Let's start plugging in some numbers, all right? So sine of theta two. We have sine of theta one. They said that the maximum here for the first order is at 30 degrees, so type in sine of 30. Not well, not type in, write down, write down. M2, second order max, that's two. M1 is one. Now, let's see what we get. Sine theta two, okay? Sine of 30 is gonna be a half. You can plug this all into your calculator, by the way. A half multiplied by two is gonna be one. Now, here's the thing. One is the maximum value the sine of an angle is allowed to have, okay? It's the maximum value. Now, here's the thing, okay? Test this out, and so watch. Plug that into, so now solve this, okay? Solve this, right? You do inverse sine of both sides, so you take sine minus one of this result of a one, right? You get rid of this sine on the left, and theta two, it's going to tell you, is going to be what? What does the calculator tell you? Do it, inverse sine of one. Make sure, by the way, it is in degree mode. It'll tell you 90 degrees, okay? Now, what's now the value of sine of 31? Plug that into your calculator. Okay, so you go sine of 31, great, Andrew, okay. Sine of 31, all right, we got that. So that's like 0.515, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Multiply it by two. Okay, great, all right, got it, Andrew. Multiply it by two, so now this works out to be about 1.03. Good, now inverse sine that, okay? So inverse sine of 1.03. <gasps> Error domain, what? Well, that's the whole point. The sign, the inverse sign, you can never plug in a value larger than one here, okay? So what I'm basically showing you, that uh, once it reaches the 90 degree angle, that's the maximum. Anything now greater than this angle here of 30 degrees for this problem will produce, will, will, will produce a then inverse sign value that is too large, all right? It's just not gonna make any sense. You can't calculate, it doesn't exist. So I'm kind of proving it without like doing like math math, all right? Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out and subscribe if you can. And I look forward to helping you with more problems. All right, take care.